Hi guys, it's Irit with another art journaling process and this is, it's actually my fifth video in my new uh, schedule that I'm trying to keep up, um, which is like a mixed media video uh, every Saturday um, or every weekend, let's say it like that. Um, but this is the fourth page on in my art journal and um, yeah, it's kind of fast. It was kind of a quick process. So I only sped up the video um, like double the time and uh, I prepped my uh, page with gesso. Uh, it's not on video, but it's there. Um, and I felt like playing with my Dana Wakely paints. Um, I saw her, she posted a video, I think a couple of weeks ago or something. Um, about, I don't even know if I saw the whole thing, but uh, she was just doing some lovely stuff with her paints and uh, with lots of water and letting them flow. It almost looks like watercolor, um, but then you have the advantage that it um, dries permanent and you know you can add layers uh, without messing up your colors. So I really felt like uh, doing something like that, playing a bit with color. I think, um, I think the nice thing about getting like a set of um, paints, like the Dina Wakely paints, let me get back a little bit uh, background. <laughs> so if you want to do some art journaling or you want to get into mixed media, um, it's always hard to decide which, you know, which paints to buy, which colors to buy, right? Um, I know it's like one of my things that I kind of like, I didn't know. Um, and what I can tell you is it's not, <laughs> it's not a simple decision. Um, I am sure that I bought uh, too many and uh, I'm sure that some colors uh, will stay well, not unused, but, um, you know, I won't use them as much. And what I think is great about getting um, a set from, let's say, Dina Wakely, um, another similar, um, I, I don't even know how to call it like a format or something, but would be like the dilutions paint. And what I mean is, is that there's a specific artist with a specific style that uh, chose the palette. And I think if you like the style of that artist, you don't have to be, you know, to you, your style doesn't have to be exactly like that person's style. But if you like the colors they choose, I think that's the most important thing, like their choice of colors, um, then it's a really easy way to get a nice palette, um, at least to start with. And I really like the palette of Dina Wakely, probably more than the dilutions, just a personal preference. I did get a few of the dilution paints and I want to play around with them, but I think the Dina Wakely uh, colors are really, really beautiful. It's also these two dilutions and Dina Wakely. Um, the Dina Wakely paints are heavy body, the dilutions are quite uh, fluid. So um, there are many differences, but I think the colors that Dina Wakely came up with are really great. And another thing that I would say is, uh, I know some people like to use a lot of color. I also use a lot of color, but it's sometimes tempting to buy like a whole set, you know, to have everything. Cause you think, what if I'll want a dark green and what if I'll want um, this type of yellow? Um, and yes, maybe, maybe you'll need them, but I also don't see anything uh, wrong with a very limited uh, palette, especially if, you know, if you only love um, like pink and yellow, then 
you know, just buy pink and yellow and don't feel the need like, you know, you should also have like a blue and a green and uh, purple if you never use these colors. So sometimes it's like really tempting or you see someone's video. I'm very guilty of that. You know, you see someone's video and they have like all these colors and you really want it also. But then it's not you, you know, because you don't paint with forest green. So why should you get that? And also when I bought my, um, also my Dina Wakely and my Dilutions paints, um, I did buy probably most of the line they came up with, but... Um, I didn't buy any brown, for example. I don't use brown. So, you know, just make some clever choices and think about what you paint and what you use and the colors you like and just stick with those. And, you know, you can always add more. So, as I said, this page is very, very, very simple. Um, I'm just playing with color and as I said I love uh, Dina Wakely's color palette I think it's beautiful um, her blues and turquoise and that pink and she has like this gorgeous gorgeous color that looks I think even more amazing when you add a lot of water to it that's the first color to the right it's I think it's called blackberry it's like um, um like a purpley pink or a pinkish purple it's gorgeous and it's just fun to play around with and in her first um, like product launch uh, when she first came up with the paints she didn't have black um, instead she took out this color called night which is kind of like a dark blue or navy and that's what I used here and I really like that as a dark color I'm I'm very much into bright um, happy colors I don't use a lot of dark colors but I think that dark blue is a really, really nice accent color. So another thing you can see, um, this is only something, you know, you'll learn this by playing with your paints. Uh, some paints are more opaque and some are more translucent. Uh, this is also true for watercolors. I mean, watercolors are like famous for being translucent. Um, it's one of the beautiful things about them and uh, personally I prefer um, translucent watercolors but watercolors can also be opaque so it depends how much water you use and it depends on what paint you use um, so you know just be aware of that and get to know your supplies but in this case um, if you add the Dina Wakely paints um, heavily you know a lot of paint obviously it's opaque um, some colors more than others, by the way, like that blackberry is uh, color is more translucent and the pink is more opaque. So it really depends. You have to get to know them. Uh, but when you add so much water, they become um, like at least semi opaque or even translucent and you can layer the colors. I wanted some lightness um, to this. So I added a little white, just a little bit. You can still see all the layers um, beneath it. And then I removed some of the uh, white with a wet baby wipe. Um, you can remove these paints like with a, a wet baby wipe only if you use gesso and only if you do this while the pa paint is still wet. Uh, this is acrylic paint. Once it's dry, it's permanent. So you have to work kind of uh, fast. Um, or you can add um, like there are special mediums that um, lengthen the drying time of paint. There are also uh, special paints that stay uh, wet longer, but um, in this case with the Dina Way clay paints, um, it's, it's just like one type of paint. Golden, for example, have many kinds like uh, heavy body and uh, fluid and uh, also, they have a line called Open, uh, which uh, takes longer to dry. Anywho, I am adding some splatters, and that's pretty much going to be it for my page. I'm only going to add a quote, and um, I really liked it. I liked it so much that I forgot what it says. <laughs> I don't have my journal next to me, but it was something along the lines, if you can't stop thinking about um, about something or about doing something, then don't stop. Uh, working for it. There it is. 
So I really like that and I found it kind of relevant to certain aspects of my life at the moment. Um, so that's it, a lot of talking. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave me a comment if you have any questions and have a lovely weekend. Bye.